Good morning! Well, but not all by myself. Amber's latest video is called, what's it called? I lied to you, not clickbait. She's lied so much she has to put in, not clickbait. Um, I thought it was a bit clickbait because I thought she was going to explain why she lied about the two wifeys. And she doesn't. She hasn't explained that yet. She's lied that many times. She's backed up on, on, <laughs> she's backed up on videos where she has to go, sorry I lied about that. Sorry I lied about that. She'll get to it, she'll get to it. So I got back from a friend's house, I want to say like 30 minutes ago. First part of the video, Amber says she's just gotten back from a friend's house. However, the footage she showed was a grandma's house. You can be friends with your grandma, I guess, I guess you can do that. Nothing wrong with that. She then says, oh, I went to my grandma's house and then I went to my friend's house. So maybe there's a separate friend, but it just reminds me of, hey guys, I went bowling. So maybe she went to my friend's house. My mom dropped her off. I don't know. Doubt. I ordered McDonald's. I actually drank tonight, which I haven't drank in like over a month. So, um, took some shots of tequila. It was a really good night. Then she talks about how she uh, she got McDonald's. She had some tequila. Last time she was hanging out with her friends. Or one of the last times she was saying, "Oh, hanging out with my friends. I'm seeing what my life's about." I want to live now. I've got friends. I'm doing things. I want to live. But now that's changed too. I'm hanging out with my friends. I've got a McDonald's. <laughs> I've got some tequila. So that's changed. That epiphany was a waste of time. I don't even think she's got... I don't even think she's got um, food addiction. Because I know she said she hasn't got binge eating now. I thought, well, she still has food addiction, clearly. But I don't even think she has that now. Because she's drinking. That's bad for her. She's, uh, she's vaping, that's bad for her. She's not walking a mile. She's choosing to do all these unhealthy things. So I don't even think she has food addiction. I think she's just a bit of a mess. They did two layers of just like black nail polish and then they had this like powder. It was like this glittery silver powder. While we're waiting for the main bit of her line, I admit that lie, explain that lie. There's a lot of rubbish. So she'll talk about her nails. Not much to say there, apart from they looked like um, the bad guy from Superman 4, just remind me of that. She talks about her hair, I don't know how long that was, how long was the video? 11 minutes? She must have went on about her hair for a good 4 minutes, I don't know. It went on a while anyway, but she's happy with the, the hair journey, it's fine. But when she's, when she's talking about her hair and her, and her nails and uh, glitter on her face, she obviously wants to be pretty and she's... I don't think I've seen anybody as obsessed with their appearance for somebody who it might be horrible. For somebody who how do I explain? As a shelf bud. Wait. I'm not trying to be horrible, I'm trying to say. She's so obsessed with how's my hair looking, how's my nails looking, how's me how's my makeup, but she doesn't seem to care about back tits or shelf butt or I don't know, fupa. Whatever. She doesn't seem to care about the things that a killing her. She's got so much fat that there's back tits, food, blah, blah, blah. So she's concentrating on all these just nothing things. It's like, oh, what about, what about the, the back tits? What about the stuff that's killing you? That, that's fine. It's fine. As long as my nails are good. So I always find that strange. They can be so obsessed with your appearance, yet look so unhealthy. So it's, I always find that strange. Do you guys remember I did my diamonds right here? In my last vlog, well today I did them there. I think they're so cute. I know people always talk about arrested development with Amber, and she's like a 13, 14, 15 year old still. I think that's I think that's bang on because so many of the videos lately have been nails, hair, appearance, lying, a bit lying. It reminds me when I worked in school with you know kids, 13, 14 year old girls, and and they would talk about the nails and they would talk about the hair and lie sometimes. So she does remind me of a, of a, of a kid. Just worse. So this whole thing with like my surgeon and the reaction channel doxing him, it's a little bit bigger than I thought it was going to be. This bit, the, the doxing stuff, 
I got all the information about this from Lauren Burkhardt. So rather than me do a Jim Somerton and just plagiarise, uh, go watch her. She, she does a really good video about it. Just want to reiterate what she's saying, what she's about to say happened, did happen, and I will show you that it happened. But this is just another example of how she's a known liar and when she messes up details with timelines and stuff it just it it does not help her credibility oh and something i did want to say um the last video she tried to make uh, zachary michael look really bad because he knew about all of this i actually told him <laughs> in private um i didn't give him like the run which i thought was odd and i watched a bit of his response she told him a secret, said, don't tell anybody, please don't tell anyone. And he went, all right, okay, I'll keep the secret. And then she was annoyed that he kept the secret. So she tried to make Zachary Michael look bad by saying that he had good character, by saying, <laughs> by saying he kept the secret. Zachary man, Zach, can you keep your secret? Yeah, you dick. <laughs> so Amber lies about the surgeon. Said it was a it was a guy. No, said it was a lady. Said they worked somewhere else. But it's all right. She lied to protect herself, like she always does. Short clips. I lied to you guys and said I was a full time. I lied about my middle name. Have I lied to you guys since then? No. I lied here. I lied. We're gonna add some glitter. So she lied about the surgeon, but we'll, we'll just add that to the to the list of Amber admitting her lies. And, and in, in her head it's always justified because she's doing it to protect herself. Whatever the fuck that means. So Amber, annoyed that people were trying to find the surgeon. <laughs> what she should have done is not given out all this information. And then she wouldn't have had to go, oh no, it was a, 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 it was a female doctor. Alright, you said it was a guy. All right, is this where they're working from? Because you said they were, huh? No, somehow. Yeah, if she doesn't want people to know all these things, just stop giving everybody 90% of the information. Just talk about your hair instead. Hmm. I just don't, not at all. And it's the, it's the same with the two wifeys. Even though she hasn't explained that yet. It's the same with the two wifeys. Don't give out all this information. And then you won't have to lie. She's called Frances, is she? Oh, it's just an inside joke. All right, okay. Oh, Jade. She called Jade. Ah, oh, that's just a thing as well. Is her name Jade Francis? No. Why would you think that? No. Hmm. Assassin. It's, it, it's exactly the same with the surgeon. Oh, my surgeon's a great guy. Is your surgeon a guy? No. Oh, my surgeon works out of here. Oh, did they work out of that? No. Oh, my surgeon's really famous. Oh, is he famous? No. <laughs> I mean, all this, all the weight loss surgery talk and, and her getting annoyed, people trying to interfere, all that, it's, it's all pointless anyway because everybody was right now, I was wrong at the time, but everybody was right, she was never going to go through with it, so it's all pointless really, isn't it? She was never going to do it. You know, all right, sorry. She would have found some other reason why she wasn't going to go through with it, so she can blame people trying to find a surgeon and messaging the surgeon. Are you Amber's doctor? Yeah. She can blame that, <laughs> she can blame that all she likes, but she was never going to go through with it. She, she would have found something else. Uh, the moon was in line with Venus that month. Something, there would have been something ridiculous. But in the end, it was, it was Jade not going to help her anymore because she was busy dumping her. So to sum up, hair, nails, um, protected herself, that's what she got to lie to protect herself. And... Um, Oh no, I'm trying to make Zachary look bad was the last video. But I'm still not happy about it. And hopefully next video she uh, she explains why she lied about the two wifeys. Although it'll just be to protect herself, won't it? That's why it's uh, to protect herself. But again, stop giving her the information. Um, did she weigh herself in that one? No, she didn't, did she? Oh no. Oh no! <laughs> She's going to gain and lose the same £40. Pound. Um... Right, on that, um, good.
Goodbye, everyone. That's mine. That's, that's an original. Hmm. Bye, everybody. Have a good day. Uh, and that title was clickbait. Hers, not mine. What am I calling mine? I might do a clickbaity title. Mr. Snuff, Mr. Mr. Cardigan, admits he uh, fancies Amber. Does that work? Is that clickbait? That's clickbait, isn't it? Because it's not true. Bye. Hi everyone, uh, I'm just about to rush off to work. I just wanted to make this quick video. Uh, I'm disgusted. Uh, I'm very angry. I'm outraged. Uh, Mr. Snowflake has stole my catchphrase. Uh, he's always been jealous of me. I can't believe he's done this. I can't believe you've done this. He's scum. Here's some examples of uh, said catchphrase. Ni hao. Ni hao. Good morning! Good morning! Uh, he's a scumbag. Uh, uh, he's a scumbag. <laughs> I hate him.